Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew and this is my C++ tutorial about the checks of a certain floating point numbers, if they are nearly the same or not. So pretty much when you have your floating point numbers, uh, there's a problem that they might be with a difference of like one of a 10,000 or whatever. And here, as you can see, if I run my program, I have a D1 that equals to 0 0.20 to 0 0.2 and D2 that equals to 0 0.1999999 and so on and so forth. And therefore D1 is not equal to D2, even though in most cases, if you use a calculator or whatever, this equation will return 0 0.2. And still, if you check if it's equal, you might get an error because that's how floating point numbers pretty much work and it's really problematic to sometimes work on that and therefore i have some solutions for you and the first one is simply to use a numeric limits that allows you to use epsilons epsilons are just the difference between one of a certain floating point type and the next possible number that can be represented by this type. And also I'm multiplying that by the absolute value of the sum and then the amount of units in the last place. The units in the last place are just uh, the least significant bits. So the amount of them. And for that I will use an integer that will tell me how many units in the last place I'm using. I will also add them to my C out and also I will call the whole function to that here. And now if I run it you can see that D1, D2 in a precision of 20 because I'm using the set precision and STD fi fixed. The amount of units in the last place is 4. The epsilon for the float equals that and the epsilon of the double equals that. And the absolute value between those two is zeros and 2776 in set precision of 20 and the value of epsilon of a certain type, in this case a double, times the absolute value times the units in the last place, makes that d1 almost equals d2. This function, as you can see, it cannot be used on integers, therefore I made a statement that it cannot be an integer type for a pass type to this function and also uh, the return type is boolean so it returns whether or not the absolute value of subtraction of the of my x and y is less or equal to the vol and the vol is simply the epsilon times absolute value times ulp which returns me a quite nice value to check whether or not there's a slight difference and I can just increase like the precision by increasing the amount of units in the last place but this is not the only way to solve that there are also plenty more the next one will be to use numeric limits for the lowest and max by using the uh, next after because we can get the next represented value by a certain type using the function std next after the problem is the number is really low and you might not even see the difference so we can change that to some temporary value some small value like some small number that will show actual difference unlike next after for example we can say 0 0.0005 and then the next fall equals to a minus some small number and next fall up a plus some small number. And here I'm just checking if b is in the bounds of the a and I mean the a with the next val 
up and down from A if B if is it's in bounds because uh, I'm checking the bounds for A like what's the next value down and up and then I'm checking just if B is in those bounds therefore I can know if they're pretty much the same or not so right now I can just run this function like this and I know that d1 and d2 are the same I mean pretty much the same because you can see there is little to no difference and this is just using the next after to the down and up as I said and you are just checking if uh, b is in the boundary and another one of the solutions of course there are tons of different solutions and you might even figure your own is oh sorry this if statement goes there another is same function but this one will have an absolute tolerance and relative tolerance because you might have a problem if the numbers are too small or too big therefore you can multiply stuff and also check the maximum from the absolute tolerance and use the relative tolerance to make sure that numbers are not too big not too small therefore you will get an exact value of is if they are pretty much the same or not and right now I'm just using the absolute value of subtraction and if that's less or equal to max value either the absolute or uh, relative tolerance times maximum of absolute from A and B and this tells me pretty much whether or not I'm in certain boundaries that they are pretty much the same so now if I run that I have again D1 and D2 are the same and are the same so that's it from me thank you for watching hope you learned something from that and I see you in the next one bye